We are down here at Frankie's Free Range Meat with a little bit of a shaky start to the week. The ice coming a couple hours late, so hopefully that's not a, a sign of how the rest of the week's gonna go. But my guys uh, just put the orders in the styrofoam, put it back in the freezer, waited for the ice to come, so we didn't really waste any time. Uh, I guess the most exciting news this week is the new control panel came in, but I gotta call up an electrician and another technician to see when they can come, and we can actually start making this jerky. And we also have a couple of things to talk about with the water kefir, but my parents were so kind to offer to pay for me to go away for a week or two somewhere, and I couldn't really decide where. Uh, so I wanted to ask you guys what you thought. Uh, I, like Mexico, Cancun sounds really nice, except places like there, Costa Rica, Puerto Rico, like I just don't feel like they're safe to go on my own. I mean, I don't know, they're, they're probably just fine, especially if I stay in a resort, but. As someone who's never even traveled outside of the country, I'm just not too comfortable. Uh, the Canary Islands sounded really nice and I kind of wanted to go there, but um, like there's like a volcano erupting and an earthquake over there. And then like the rest of the countries that you can go to at this time of the year, November, like the weather is, is not that great. It's not like super sunny and high UV index. And uh, the Maldives are <laughs> a little too expensive for my blood. Uh, so let me know what you guys think in the comments if there's somewhere I should go. Let's go on lunch? Okay, I'll see you guys in a little bit. I mean, on one hand, I wish I didn't have to come down here and do this every day. I could be like a Tomi, just uh, film vlogs in the forest and have YouTube cut me a fat check and do like nonsense sponsorships. Let's look at that uh, control panel and see, and see how different it is to the one this electrician messed up. The original one has the main power on the side, this giant box in the middle, that over there, and then the wiring on the left. And there's just a mess of wires down here. The components look similar on this one. They just put the stuff in a different spot. I have no idea what I'm looking at here, but hopefully uh, they can figure it out. The good thing is it looks like they wired this. So for the, for the screen and everything, it should be fine. The only thing that needs to be done is it looks like it's connect power to it. So they did all the technical wiring. So we shouldn't have an issue there. So once the electrician connects the power to these, I guess it's gonna be okay, I don't know. I hired a couple extra guys because I thought I was gonna be on vacation for a bit longer, but I don't think that's gonna happen anymore. So now I really wanna get this dehydrator set up because if my guys are making jerky, that's gonna take a lot of time. They have to cut the meat really thin. I think we're gonna sell a lot of it. So the sooner I get this dehydrator, the sooner I will stop wasting so much money on labor that is unneeded. So we have plenty of water kefir in stock, kind of buried in the back here between these boxes, I think about 70. And right now we have no flavor, but starting this week, I'm gonna make the water kefir a ginger lemon lime flavor. Not only is it gonna be an excellent probiotic, it's gonna taste so much better, and it's gonna have some antiscorbutic properties with the fresh lemon, lime, and ginger. I ordered that stuff uh, yesterday. It came today from my restaurant supplier. So we got limes, we got ginger, and we got a whole case of lemons. It's gonna cost me maybe an extra hundred bucks a week to do that with the water kefir, but to me, it's worth it. It's gonna be really, really delicious. I mean, plus the labor it's gonna to take to juice this and, and all that stuff, but we'll see how it goes for a week or two before I uh, dismiss it. And if you've been having a hard time making the water kefir or you don't like drinking the water kefir, you can actually just eat the water kefir grains, uh, which is what I've been doing uh, for a couple meals, and I feel just as good eating the kefir grains as I do drinking the kefir, except obviously, uh, these take a while to replicate and it's a bit more expensive. Although I've only had like a teaspoon or two per meal and this lasts like a week. So I guess it's still not that expensive. So we're gonna take a look uh, through the freezer just to give you guys a quick update about what's going on. This thing is not too easy to open. Uh, we're a little bit low on the salmon caviar, but we'll get some more in this week. I did order more of the flat iron steaks and bavet steaks for you guys. Very nice four ounce portions that you like. The petite tender is back, but you know, these are a little big, although it's a very affordable cut. It comes packaged like 3.5 pounds, and it's, since that's kind of nice, I don't want to break it open. We do have a couple prime ribeye that I'll put back in stock. We have veal brains instead of the lamb brains. I can't get my hands on any lamb brains right now. Uh, so we did get a new organ meat in uh, sweetbreads last week, which is the thymus gland, and you guys bought all of it. Like I had 200 pounds of it, you guys just bought all of it in, uh, in one week. So we're gonna try to get more of that in this week. Uh, and just keep restocking. We might actually be going out to, uh, or I might actually be going up to uh, a farm to buy a cow on Thursday, and then we're gonna drive it over to uh, 
uh, slaughterhouse and have the guy kill the cow and hang it that day. I don't think I'll be able to film that vlog, but uh, I'm looking forward to just, uh, I think over the next few months, I'm going to try to learn uh, like really specifically how to break down a cow. I I've done smaller animals, like I've done goats and lambs myself before, and that's just super easy. It only takes like 45 minutes to break down a lamb, because the lamb's only 30, 40 pounds, and, and the beef is, oh man, the carcass is sometimes over a thousand, so we'll see. I mean, I don't have to because, you know, I plan on hiring butchers and people to break down the animal, but it would be nice to just kind of see the operation, just get a, a double check of knowing what I need to buy if I want to have my own smaller slaughterhouse. So uh, that, that's going to be the, the main focus for uh, before spring. Understand all the tools and components needed to, to break down the cow, if, how much money I'm going to need to do it, and then maybe get a little property and start doing it myself. But uh, we showed you guys the water kefir. We showed you guys the kefir grains. Uh, the pemmican, for those of you guys that don't purchase from my other businesses that only order from Frankie's Free Range Meat. Uh, we might give the pemmican away next week to send you guys a sample, but unfortunately, I only have it on Frankie's Free Range Foods right now because if you guys order like 40 or 50 of them, I, I can't ship it with the meat. It's too expensive. So that's, that's the same goes with the jerky. As much as I would like to have the jerky on Frankie's Free Range Meat too, I just can't do it. Otherwise, people are going to order like 10 pounds of jerky and I'm going to have to put that with dry ice and there's no point in doing that. Uh, so let's go downstairs. I don't think there's too much to go over. Or Oregon Supplements is a little more organized. Wi-Fi Shielding is the same. Frankie's Naturals is the same. But I did order uh, some heavier duty uh, black colored shielding cloth. So we're going to make some like sweats, some sweatshirts, sweatpants on Wi-Fi Shielding for... Uh... They're going to be a little expensive though because the fabric's expensive and it's a, a much larger area. Down here, nothing special. I showed you guys last week we have all of the stuff organized. I'm gonna remake the vitamin D this week and see if I can get the, the powder to not settle at the bottom. And then you guys can email me if you purchase this one, we'll send one out for free. Most of the bovine powders and enzymes are all organized here. We got everything, plenty of the, the macronutrient and carnivore enzymes as well, which are the powders to digest food. And then we have all the masticum up here. So if you guys have been waiting for the masticum to come back in stock, we have it. Gonna get some more water in on Tuesday. Price of everything's going up like crazy. I gotta bring some of this powder up to the farmer. So he just, some free feed, I don't really care. Got some towels stocked up, nothing really crazy down here. Well, I don't really think I have anything else to talk about today. I have a little bit of inventory work to do. I just gotta double check what else I have to order to try to get back in stock this week. Um, the marrow bones that I keep talking about, they're, they're still in custom, so hopefully those get released in the next week or two and we could start testing out this bandsaw. Outside of that, thank you guys for joining me today. If you didn't see my video yesterday, I mean, I don't really have anything to add to that. Maybe I should have said that at the beginning. Um, just, just some more negative things to kind of reinforce what was going on down here. But you guys can go to frank com to check out all of my businesses and support me. So if you could drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, as I said, go to frank check out all my businesses. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.